Hi, it's Miranda. If I look like I was crying, it's because I was. I'm right in the throes of feeling like someone with uterus. So, um, basically I'm just a little, you know, I'm a little all over the place with that. Not to mention, but I'm going to, uh, I, I, something just happened recently. What, wait, I hate it when I forget things. Oh yeah. <laughs> we signed the separation agreement. So there's that. And I don't think it's all that, but it's a little bit of that, obviously. Obviously. So I'm a little bit all over the place right now, which is why I haven't really recorded very much. If anyone was wondering if there was a problem or something, it's not a problem. It's just more processing. And sometimes it takes me a little bit to be like, wait, so we're okay. Like, I don't know. My brain just takes a little bit for the synapses. I say that so many times. Maybe I need a better way to explain that, but sometimes my brain just goes and I'm hearing what's coming in, but sometimes I don't hear the meaning quite so fast because my brain is going. And then it's just like, oh, that means that We're, we're separated. Okay. I'm really hoping that getting a job is easier at least after the holidays or something because right now it's been a little bit... Hmm. So what I really just wanted to talk about is the fact that I felt like... I felt like I was releasing a bit of trauma. Does anyone know what that feels like? I don't want... It happens all the time, not all the time, oh, not all the time. Like I'm so settled. I don't want to go anywhere. And this year I can't, and things are just every year I can't, I know, but every year I can't. And sometimes it's this, but sometimes this is enough. I don't think people understand that. They're just like, oh, it's all in your head. But Hey, do you know that sometimes that's all that it, you need? For that to be the case people making me feel like I'm not okay instead of understanding that oh this is just a different way people can be wow you know and this is not a new feeling it's not like I just came up with this it's just it keeps coming up we all are very selfish and that's fine I just wish people would be more honest about it it's okay if you want to do your own thing. Just, it's fine. Just let me know. I've said this. I'm repeating myself. I just have a, um, not a ton. I have, I have new followers at this point and I don't know. I don't make a lot of serious videos, so I don't know who's watching this and who is interested in this kind of thing. I go through this thing where I realize that I don't blame anyone for treating me the way I'm not saying, oh, you all treated me like crap. We were both, it's not like I, I'm imperfect. No, I can, I can be a total bitch. I, I am very blunt and sometimes I'm blunt in the wrong way. And sometimes I don't realize it until much later. And sometimes I, there's an elephant in the room and I'm like, oh, look at that. And everyone's just like, don't. I'm not quite that blunt, but like it's close enough that sometimes people just don't like that. And so, sometimes it's in person. And I'm not like, I'm not c confrontational or particularly aggressive. But if something comes up and it bothers me and it bothers me and I know that if I don't say something, it's going to fester in me, I'll say it and I'll try to say it as gently, as nicely as I can. But sometimes the receiving parties aren't, they're not in a place to receive what I've said and that's not their fault. So I, I can apologize and say, I'm sorry I did that. I'm sorry I did that. Maybe I should, I shouldn't have done that. Not even maybe I, I shouldn't have done it. But I did, and there's nothing I can do about it. So I'm sorry to anyone who doesn't like things, doesn't like anything that I have done in the past or won't like anything that I do in the future. But, you know, I'm just, I have to figure out how to be financially independent. And that's just a lot. <laughs> and I'm going to 
disappear a little bit, but I'm going to try to do stuff like this because I really like this and this is like an outlet for me. So, um, I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to do a decent amount of shorts and even if they're stupid, hopefully you stick around, even if you dislike them and you're like, she's so dumb. I hate her <laughs> dislike. That's fine. If you're watching and you're laughing or you're just like sharing, like, do you see this idiot? It's fine. I don't care. I don't care. I want to entertain and I want to distract because that's, that's what's needed in a lot of people's lives, including mine. The reason why I started recording was because I felt like so tired of just, I was tired of like curating everything all the time. People are like, oh, that's masking. And I'm like, I wasn't faking though. I wasn't faking who I was. I was just editing it. And I didn't like that. You say that's the same thing, but it's not. Some people change who they are and some people edit who they are. And I know that that sounds like the same thing, but I don't put filters on myself. It's just edits. It's just jump cuts. That's it. Wait, I got to breathe for a second. Hold on. It, that's happening. You know what I like though about this? My ability to recognize it so quickly. Because that was not the case a long time ago. Like I'm shaking right now on the inside. I don't know if anyone else has ever had this when you're talking to something, somebody about something. Because I do. I, I have a tendency to pour myself out to people. If they're the kind of people who are like kind of doing that to me too, I'm like, yeah, hey, boof. And, and I try to, and I try to soften it because I have a tendency to just like, you know, tilt the picture a little too far. Um, it's hard to close that spout. But anyway, um, I, I'm not trying to trauma dump and stuff. It's just me being like, yes, I understand how you feel because, you know, and that's what happens. But sometimes when that happens to me, and I don't know if it happens to the other person, but like right now, like, right, I'm doing this on purpose. This is on purpose. My hands are not shaking like this. I'm doing this manually. But say that this is what my insides feel like right now. Especially around my ribs. And so it just feels like this tightening. And when I'm talking to people about stuff like this. My insides feel awful right now. But the, the thing with me, as you can see, is I don't necessarily sound that way. My upper lip right now, it's going tingly. It does that. My sides here, they do that too. And I have a neuropathy in my fingers and I'm this and that, you know, everybody's got their issues. I'm not saying my issues are more than anyone's. I'm literally just saying if you have these feelings, especially now, I just want you to understand, hi, where I'm coming from and who I am. And, um, we don't really know each other. I don't want, like, I know that there's this whole like parasocial situation and stuff like that, but I really don't want anyone to get uh, stalkery on me. I'm going to be honest. Don't get stalkery on me. Okay, please. <laughs> just don't. I don't know if I've made it clear. I like to be alone. Stay away from me. Okay. <laughs> Stay away from me. You're cool. We can talk, but no <laughs> honesty. I'm an honest person. I'm all about Donovan too. He's at, he's going to have a nice, cause he's been seeing Christmas carols this year. I'm not going to record it because he's private. I don't feel particularly Christmassy, but Don Donovan's helping with that. But I do feel good about like, like, I'm curious to see what's going to happen because like I said in the previous video, even if we were already kind of living like roommates, the shakes are still happening, but at least I'm breathing better. Even if we were living like roommates already. Yeah, I'm starting to calm down. See, I love that. I love it when I feel that. I feel the tightening release. Oh my God. Do you know what I'm talking about? And I'm not even crying. And I'm remembering my thought. Oh my God. That's so rare. Shut up. <laughs> that one was not fake. We were already living like roommates for a little while, up to a few years. And I had said it to him and then he finally got it. And 
now like I, it's for without trying to sound crass about it because it's not just that obviously we're gonna be friends it's just right now we don't want to I mean, we don't want to be around each other so much we've been around each other for so so much and um I'm kind of a glorified nanny just live in nanny type of thing you know how you doing mr. Kevin you know type of thing like sure yeah no problem I'll see you later type of stuff all the single ladies Oh, I'm not trying to date right now. Oh my god. <laughs> not for a long time. I just want to breathe. I'm gonna go now. I'm gonna try and edit and put this up, but like I said, if you don't see too much of me, I'm okay. And I hope you're okay. And if you're not okay, I hope you reach out to somebody. Holidays can be hard for a lot of different reasons. I hope yours go well. If you celebrate or not. <laughs>